this is a hybrid rigging system. The crotch on the right has the double rings in there, the ropes going through there, and then out towards you right here, you can see that second crotch is natural crotch. So it's a hybrid system. Part of it's mechanical, part of it's natural, and it's a system I like to set up a lot when I'm in the bucket truck. The rings are actually higher than the natural crotch, although it doesn't look like it from this camera angle. So I always like to use the mechanical, whether it's block or rings, at, for the high point. And then using a satellite point on that natural crotch allows me to adjust the landing zone in a place that's optimal for the ground guys and hopefully keeps the limbs swinging away from me as much as possible. In this situation, we have the shed down below me and I want to use this crotch right here, but you see how flimsy that limb is? That's kind of got a funny angle that's growing on. It's we're just waggling all around. But because we're using multiple crotches here, this is going to be a very strong point to rig from, much stronger than you normally would think. A lot of this has to do with the angle of the rigging line here. If you look at the way this angle is set up, you'll see that the vector between the two legs, the legs that's coming into the crotch and the leg that's dropping straight down, which is where these limbs are going to want to hang, that angle is very much in line with the stem of that branch, and that's crucial here. So if you bisect the angle of that rope, that will show you the vector force that's going to be generated when we start loading it up, and it's right in line with that stem. That's an optimal rope angle. But even then, with that small limb and that whole right side of the tree that you're seeing is going to have to get lowered off of this rigging point here, I was still concerned that if that limb failed, it was going to be right over me. Not only would the limb land on me, but the rigging line was going to swing right back towards me and the bucket very hard. So even though I felt pretty good about that rigging point, I just couldn't put my life at risk by rigging big st stuff off it. I was either going to have to rig small or I was going to have to make that rigging point stronger. And the problem with rigging small here is that I would have to go out to those branch tips and start cutting from those branch tips. The problem with that was going to be the rope angle from this lowering line. If I'm out to the right cutting those branch tips off, that's got no, no place to go but swinging right back at me. In order for me to be out of the way, I have to be to the left here, which means I'm going to need to cut entire limbs off. So what I decided to do was make this rigging point strong enough so that I was absolutely 100% certain I could rig these big lower limbs below me and have them swing to my right underneath this rigging point, and that was going to keep me safe. This yellow line is a static line. It's basically getting tied up and it's not going to move. It's an extra support line for that fairly flimsy limb where the satellite rigging point is located. And what makes this system strong is the principle of triangulation. I like to use the same principle when I'm cabling trees as well. The idea is that the geometric shape of the triangle, whether in geometry or engineering, is a very, very stable shape. As long as those three legs of the triangle are not going to move, you're going to have an extremely strong situation there. And this rope is going to keep that flimsy limb from moving to the right here. So that's one triangle. You can see it right there. There's a triangle right there. The second triangle is actually formed with the blue rope and then the two crotches that that's going through. That multi-crotch system is going to create another triangle. So between these two triangles, I'm 100% certain I'm going to live when I cut these big limbs out here. And even with that yellow line as a support line to make the system that much more stable and strong and feeling 100% certain that I'm okay, I'm still going to make this first cut a little light just to see how the piece moves when the weight comes on it and make sure the system is looking good and I feel comfortable enough to rig big stuff off it. All right, so when, anytime you're new to the game, you always want to think ahead of time 
what's this thing gonna do? So that piece there is gonna pendulum right out underneath the rigging point there, right? And it's gonna pendulum past as this other piece is swinging down. So this thing can swing down and kind of get come towards me. Probably ought to take this guy off right here. Because that piece could swing towards the bucket. And then I'm gonna get as far away as I can. But there's really no place to run it I'm over here. Actually high is probably good because this stuff's gonna be swinging down below me. Alright, and this, if this branch fails, it's right over my bucket. That, that's by the backup, right? Because I don't want to die here today. After this, I was easily able to rig out limbs that were two or three times this big down below me. The rigging point was secure, and most important of all, I was confident that I was safe. So please comment, like, let me know what you think. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.